Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Been All Around This World, a podcast devoted to the life's work of folklorist Alan Lomax. My name is Nathan Salzberg, curator of the Alan Lomax Archive at the Association for Cultural Equity, and your host. In late 1947, Lomax kicked off a new radio show called Your Ballad Man on the Mutual Broadcasting System. It was the first nationally broadcast program devoted to ostensibly folk song. That said, Alan wasn't allowed to play his field recordings, which in 2018 would still be a bridge too far for most broadcasters, so he relied on new commercial releases of jump blues, western swing, honky-tonk string bands, and the likes of popular folk singers like Burl Ives and Josh White. Merle Travis's Freight Train Boogie provided a fairly modernistic theme song. Alan's first show of 1948, however, was devoted to dancing around the world and featured a fairly startling array of international music. From the Dixie Dewdrop Uncle Dave Macon from Tennessee, to the klezmer clarinetist Dave Terrace, a Tunisian Sufi ensemble, an Indonesian gamelan group, and a Cuban orchestra. Here are the first couple minutes of that program, all of which you can hear at the Alan Lomax Archive online at culturalequity.org. Get on board, little children, and ride with me. This is Alan Lomax, your ballad man, inviting you for a ride on the folk song train, the train that runs wherever the people sing, wherever the people now make their Casey music. Jones, he was a mighty man, but now he's a resting in the promised land. The kind of music he could understand was an eight-wheel driver under his command. He made a freight train boogie all the time. He made a freight train boogie as he rolled down the line. Tonight on the folk song train, We're celebrating this brand new year we're rolling into, 1948. And if there are a lot of people that feel drowned in gloom about 48, we folks on the folk song train don't feel that way. We don't agree. We're going to bring in 1948 dancing. Yes, sir, tonight we're going to dance right around the world. We want you to come out of your front parlors and roll with us right around the world and visit and dance with people in 20 languages and 20 countries. But first, how about a taste of how wild and foolish and wonderful Americans can get when they go to dancing? Let's make our first stop on our dancing journey, Chicago. (laughs) Yes, sir, everybody's dancing on the folk song train tonight. Everybody dancing in their own style, in their own way of enjoying themselves. And you know, there's no more way No way more strange or wild or wonderful than our own American style of dancing. This tune, they call it the uh, Dynamite Boogie. This dance of music, you know, it's factory wheels production lines, freight trains rolling down through the big night, airplane propellers whirling. It's the kind of dance music we like. Seventy years later, we're devoting this edition of Been All Around This World to Dancing Around the World, with a selection of Lomax's own recordings. We'll start up in Baraga, Michigan, in the Upper Peninsula, where in the fall of 1938, Alan visited some singers in the immigrant Quebecois community there, largely comprised of lumbermen and small farmers. The performer here, as you'll hear, is Edward King, recorded at a party improvising a comic piece with the typical French-Canadian accompaniment of foot percussion, or pot au rythme. Lomax identified this tune as New Year's Day, and the lyrics are spectacular, even in translation. Here's a fragment. It's been 30 years since I last washed my face. I am not dirty, and I have another beer every time a young sailor comes to me from Canada to eat a crust of bread. (laughs) 
Music by two old timers from the Ozarks, Uncle Charlie Everidge on the mouth bow or picking bow, as some call it in that part of the world, and Neil Morris giving out the dance calls. Wave the ocean, wave the sea, wave that pretty girl back to me. A recording made in Timbo, Arkansas in 1959 by Alan Lomax, assisted by Shirley Collins. 
Neil Morris was a particularly rich source of dance tunes and lyric songs both. He told Lomax that his family had been musicians going back 500 years. And in fact, it didn't stop with him, as his son was the renowned songwriter, folklorist, and performer Jimmy Driftwood. We'll no doubt hear more from Neil Morris in future episodes of Been All Around This World. And we started our set of dance tunes with an improvised piece by Edward King from Baraga, Michigan, in a recording in 1938 identified as New Year's Day. Up next is a recording from the Caribbean island of Dominica, which Lomax visited in June of 1962, part of a long Rockefeller Foundation-funded trip throughout the Lesser Antilles. It was a heady time in the West Indies where so many former colonies were gaining their independence and proudly asserting their traditional cultures. Dominica's was a highly creolized composite of French, English, African, and South American Carib elements. By 1978, when it gained its own independence, the music there had also been influenced by roots reggae, soca, and zouk. Of all the devastation wrought by Hurricane Maria last year, no island was harder hit than Dominica. With that in mind, we'll hear a dance song traditionally sung at wakes, its life-affirming lyrics laughing in the face of loss and grief. Kiss me, kiss me, it says. I'm sweet anise. My beard doesn't prick. Kiss me, kiss me, I'm brown sugar. Entitled Bom Wan Cha, it's sung by a group of women led by Sonia Carbon.
saltarella there, the traditional dance of rural Abruzzo, recorded in the picturesque village of Scano, due east of Rome, by Alan Lomax and Diego Carpatella in December 1954. You might be familiar with images of Scano shot by Cartier-Bresson and Mario Giacomelli, also in the 1950s, particularly Giacomelli's most famous photo, the one entitled Scano Boy. The violinist on this tune was Giuseppe Gavita, the guitarist Laborio Garanfa. The singers, however, were unidentified and too bad, as their lyrics say exactly what needs saying here in our dance music episode of Been All Around This World. Whoever is dancing, hooray for whoever is dancing. Hooray for Grandma. Hooray for the festival. Godfather is dancing. Francesco is dancing. Jesus Christ is dancing. We'll wrap up our dancing episode of Been All Around This World with a short clip recorded on a front porch in Johnston County, North Carolina in 1983. It features the wonderful guitarist, singer, and buck dancer, Adja Mae Hinton, doing all of those things, flat-footing on the porch, singing, and playing guitar behind her head. Sadly, Ms. Hinton passed away on February 8th of this year at the age of 89. She told the Raleigh, North Carolina News and Observer last year that, quote, the reason I can't walk, I danced so much and told so many stories, I wore out my legs, she says, and laughs. But I'm going to walk again, dance again, ain't giving up. We invite you to look at the Alan Lomax Archive channel on YouTube for a dozen or so clips of the dance party at Algia May's house where this recording comes from. Remember, too, to look at the Alan Lomax Archives Online Research Center at culturalequity.org for so much more along these lines. You can search by genre under dance tunes there for hundreds of such specimens. My name is Nathan Salzberg. Thanks for listening to Been All Around This World. If you're not already a subscriber, you can find us on Stitcher, iTunes, Google Play, wherever fine podcasts are found. Hope to have you tune in next time. Take care. I'm going to get played hammer here one time. I gotta give him a drink. I'm gonna sit down and do it so I'm lazy. Go behind her and watch her do it from behind. Thank you.